As a 17 year old child, I had to write a victim impact statement after being extorted for four consecutive The number of cyber tips has risen to 100,000. It's time we make education more interesting than social media. It's massive social media addiction. Sexual exploitation is a crisis. Some children get injured by their parents' behavior. They must be more interesting than the social media on the phone. When that happens, they won't look at the social media, they look at you. Namaskaram, this is Juhi Chavla Mehta. Nowadays, all kids are glued to their mobile phones, tablets, iPads all day. So what is to happen to them? One, because of this whole exposure to radiation and two, the pressure of social media. Namaskaram, Juhi. Technology is a tremendous enabler in our lives. How many things have become easy? and uh, our lives have become so enhanced because technology facilitates so many things in our lives. Well, what you are actually complaining of is not technology, you are complaining of human compulsiveness. If they start eating, they don't know when to stop eating. If they start drinking, they don't know when to stop drinking. So whatever they start doing, they become compulsively addictive to it. So right now, the thrill is about the gadgets for this generation. So, technology is not to be blamed, we have not addressed human compulsive nature. Human compulsiveness can only be addressed with consciousness, more conscious way of existing. To become conscious, there are many tools, we have not propagated this large scale in our society. It has to become a part of our existence. At a very early age, children should learn to live consciously. Once they're conscious, they know when to use what and how much to use. It's individual choice. Of technology, innovation, smartphone, internet, social media, we are becoming more and more dependent on all of those tools. I'm sorry for the question, are we a human being becoming um, stupid? Are we slave? Uh, is this the modern life, uh, modern uh, <laughs> life slavery for you? No, I don't see it that way. Even if you were a caveman, you would carry a stick in your hand. True. You would never keep the stick down because it was necessary. Maybe there was a snake, maybe there was an animal, maybe there was something else. Always a stick. Today you're carrying a cell phone. I don't see any difference. Mm. That stick was useful at that time. This phone is useful now. Now, this is technology which has enabled us to do so many things. I remember twenty-five years ago, thirty years ago, when I was building the foundation, you know, I had to go into those booths with a black phone and make hundred, two hundred calls at a time. Today, if I just think about it, my phone calls, yes. all right? If I say a word, it'll call who I want and it's done. So life has become so much better because of a phone. But now people are in a state of compulsiveness. Anything you give, they are so compulsive, they make it into suffering. Compulsive eating, compulsive drinking, compulsive everything. So the problem is not phone, problem is not something else. Compulsiveness is the problem. The solution is only consciousness, there is no other way. Yeah, and controlling ourselves. Yeah. No, not controlling, becoming conscious. If you become conscious, you are liberated, not controlled.